Yeah, well, we didn't. Hi, Bex. <sighs> so we're talking to the ducks out here at the river on a Thursday. This one is Schubert. This one? <laughs> apparently this one here, I don't know if you can see him. His name is Schubert, and he just came out of the water and started walking up towards us. Steph wanted to feed him, but we have nothing to feed him because we suck. We brought our own food. Hi, Schubert. But no food for the ducks. So it's been raining for the last two days, and today's just a beautiful, beautiful day out at the Nimbus Dam. Is that, that is Nimbus Dam, right? I don't know. Whatever. American River. Yeah, American River. Mm, bridge construction. But it's just, oh, it's a nice day. There's hardly any clouds in the sky. It's warm. I mean, it's like, it feels like it's like 70 degrees out here. I don't know how warm it is, but I have this jacket on, but I don't need it on. I just brought it just in case, but it's a nice, Nice day, so we're just uh, relaxing. The wife uh, was sick, wasn't feeling well, so I thought maybe some sun would do her some good. So we're just out here, yeah, having a chill, relaxed day. Gonna read, gonna write, do some fun. Probably not do anything else besides that, but it's a good day. You wanna say hello? Hello. That's it? <coughs> yeah. Okay. She doesn't feel so good. So, anyway, if there's anything else going on, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but yeah. It's a good day. Schubert. Hey, Schubert. Yeah. Schubert. What? Where? Oh. <laughs> really? You're kind of a wuss. Man, it's like the birds around here or something. We've been sitting here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. And all I've been doing is feeding, hey, <laughs> feeding this duck. That stuff is named Schubert. There's your hand. There's the duck. Come here. Come on. You want that? We've been trying to get him to come to us, but he won't. He's doing pretty good, though. He's doing pretty good. And there's a bunch of other ducks, too. I don't know if you can see them Hi, friends. in the water right there. There's like six ducks around. <laughs> We're such weirdos. We come to the river to feed ducks. <laughs> Hi. Oh, man. It's such a nice day, though. We're having a good time, though, I think. <laughs> Although now we're kind of out of food to give them, so they're just gonna have to suck it up and go find their own food. Oh, well, it looks like he's gonna just lay down now and take a nap. <laughs> Whatever. <sighs> yeah. yeah, it's a good day. I don't know. I don't know what to say. We're just <laughs> totally mesmerized by the ducks. Stuff's gonna be an old duck lady instead of an old cat lady, I think. Gonna be old duck lady. lady. Yeah. Yeah, because when we lived in Provo, there was a little pond uh, at BYU. Uh, what was that, south of campus? And uh, we'd go there like every Sunday after church. We'd walk there. It was, it was like five blocks from our apartment maybe, and so we'd walk up there with the ends of the bread, and we'd go feed the ducks like every Sunday and stuff. Oh, there's something on the camera. Steph absolutely loved it. Um, that was, like I think, your favorite thing that we used to do back there, probably. We don't do anything like that here because... I don't know why. This is only like a five minute drive from the apartment. We probably should. Maybe we will start coming out here more. Hopefully we do this summer. We've been wanting to the last few years we lived here and we just don't because we don't make time for it, which is stupid. So, yeah. Ducks are fun. They're funny little funny little creatures. Do you ever wonder what it'd be like to have no hands? I know that's not a hard question. But I was sitting here thinking and, and just looking at the ducks. And they're walking around and they're pecking the ground, or I don't know if it's really pecking, but they're kind of like digging in the dirt, you know? Like this guy out here, I don't know if you can see him in the water, he's kind of just digging in the water looking for food. And I just was wondering like, what it would be like to have no hands, you know, to be like a bird, and to not have any hands. I mean, can you imagine not having hands? Because I don't know what I would do. I think about that and I don't even, I don't even know how it's, how would you, I don't know. It's just weird to me to think of not having any hands, like not even any arms for that matter. I mean, I know they have wings, but... They only use them when they're flying, when they're walking around like this. They got their you know, arms tucked up, their wings tucked up against them. It's not like they're gonna use them for anything. So I just, what do you guys think? What would it be like to have no arms? Steph, what would it be like to have no arms? <coughs> not very fun. That's all you have to say, it's not very fun? I'm sick, I can't use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the brain sickness, apparently. So what do you guys think? What would it be like to have no arms? Comments below, I wanna know. If you guys haven't figured out already, I'm a big fan of nature. I find there's no better place to come and relax, to come clear your head, to just get back into yourself, to 
just, you know, like a, a cleanse. It's like taking a shower for your brain. You know, you come out and it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just so refreshing. You just get away from the TV and the computer and all the technology and stuff. Obviously, I'm vlogging, but I mean, you know, you get away from your cell phones and, and all of the, the crap that just doesn't matter. And you come out and you just, you can be free, you know? You can, I don't know, be the way that we were intended to be originally, or what I feel like we were intended to be like, you know? I, this, we have this world here for us, whether you believe in creation or evolution, the Big Bang or, or God, it doesn't matter. We have this planet, this land that we live on, and instead of being part of it, we try to control it. And it just, I just love coming out here. I mean, right now, I mean, it's just, it's so beautiful out here now. I mean, it, it's, it's springtime. It's just, this is the time of year to, to come out and do this stuff. I, I, I don't know. I love nature. There's nothing better than going camping or backpacking or hiking or coming out to the river or going to the lake. I don't like going to the lake when there's a lot of people around. Oh, jeez, unstable ground. But I just, I miss the feelings that I used to get in going into nature all the time. Like, once I started college and... You know, I got married. It's just, we just, we don't go camping anymore, really. I mean, we go camping once a year with my family. And that's for, like, four days now, because Steph has a job and I have school. And we just, we can't just take that time off and go out and just be gone for, oh, sweet. I don't know if you can see this. It's a big old crane over there. I'm going to walk up to it and see how close I can get. See, this is what I love about nature. You just, you see the beauty that is around it. It's amazing. The stuff that you get to see that's, that, I don't know, that, a lot of the times, I don't even know exists. It just, oh, oh, there it goes. Check it out. Sweet. See, that's what I'm talking about. Nature, nature's awesome. There it goes over there. You can't see because I didn't zoom in. I zoomed out, but nature is awesome. Like, there's nothing cooler than nature. I know people love movies. I love movies. I love music. I, unfortunately, enjoy watching TV. I don't like that I enjoy it, but I do. But, you know, when I go, when I go camping, after a couple days, I forget that there is TV. I forget that I have a cell phone. I forget that I have an email and a Facebook. I forget about YouTube. I forget everything, and I don't miss it at all. And then when I get back, and I take a shower, and I get all the dirt off me and everything, and then I see all the technology around, and I just realize, oh, I really don't care about this stuff at all. And then I get back into my routines, and I just... I wish I could have this feeling with me all the time, how I feel being out in nature. And even here, it's not even that out in nature because there's a dam right there and there's the road right there. But even still, like just sitting by the river, like playing with those ducks, just hanging out, listening to the water and the chirping of the birds. It's just, I, I don't know how to explain it. You know, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Do you, do you guys like to camp? Do you like being out in nature? Is this something that you guys enjoy as much as I do? Let me, let me know what you guys think. I don't know, I just... I've been thinking a lot lately, and I mean, since since last semester ended, so it's been like three months now, how I just, I really need to do something with my life, and I just don't feel like I'm going anywhere, and whenever I'm not in nature, I always feel complete, you know? I don't feel stress, I don't feel like I have things to do because I'm where I feel like I should be, and I don't know, I feel, <laughs> I feel like I just need to go away for a while, you know? I, I don't know where to, for how long, or with who, but I just feel like I gotta get out of the world, you know. I gotta, I gotta go somewhere. I gotta do something. I don't know what I, I don't, I don't know what yet. But I, I'm just, I'm thinking this summer I gotta, I gotta go and not come back for, for a while. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I just, I gotta, I gotta stay out in places like this, you know. I gotta be out. I gotta be hiking. I gotta breathe real air smell the trees, see the animals. I, I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you, do you guys understand what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I gotta do something. I don't know what yet. I'm thinking. I got things going on in my mind. All, all sorts of crazy stuff. I, I don't know what yet. But I, something, something big, I think. I think. I don't know. Anyway, this is Thursday, out of the river. Peace out, you guys.